Hey everybody, how you doing? <laughs> I've been having some volume problems with my phone again. I think I got ping in the microphone. So I always have to like go testing one, two, three first. <laughs> so I'm doing pretty good. I just decided to, well, I went to sleep early and now I'm up at four in the morning. But uh, I just want to do some cheerful colors. And who knows, it may look, who knows how it's going to turn out. But I'm going to see what I could do with this star. Uh, this is on a 12 by 12, and I'm using leftover paint. Okay. Uh, I am going to just get started. I tightened up my canvas, 12 by 12. Need about five ounces, gonna go about six. And one of these measure cups I have that I always clean out. Okay. <sighs> Something's in there. Okay. There. And that's it. Just do kind of like a ring pour on the star. And see what happens. <laughs> Everything I do know has no silicone in it. And that's with two parts full draw, one part paint. And I use a little water to thin it down. So this is some white artist loft flow mixed with a little lavender that I had left over that I used for a base coat one time. I don't want to use too much. There we go. That was still quite a bit for the bottom pour, but I can stop early. This is quinacridone magenta, which I've been using quite a bit of because I had a lot, and mixed with pink tropics decor. Then this is eggplant, and you can see a shimmer in there. This has got, um, metallic purple in it too. It's eggplant, Anita's eggplant mixed with artist loft, but just a little bit of the, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> metallic purple. This one I'm a little iffy with. I'm thinking rosebud and some other kind of pink. This is some kind of pink, and I cannot remember for the life of me what color that pink was, but you can see it's pink. I mean, I could go back and look, but we'll see once I edit. Then I think this is brilliant purple. But I'm going to add just a little bit more of that white in there. And then, let's see, I got to go up to five. We'll just repeat that. All righty. <laughs> goes. And we got light and everything, right? Oh, well, hopefully it's level. I don't think it is too much because it seems to be going well, okay, it doesn't seem too bad.
Let's see if it stops going off this end, then we'll know. Marvel. <laughs> well, I better take it off. Then I'm going to let that close up naturally. <laughs> Kind of tilt it up this way so don't lose it all. It's pretty. There we go. Okay. So the middle looks funny with that thing he's right in there. I'm not going to like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just suck that a little bit with the pipette to draw it together. Hold on a minute. There we go. Just sucked that big chunks. Uh, now, do you want to torch it? Yeah, a little bit. Pretty. Can always put something in there. I did that butterfly one time. Something pretty. lose all that pretty color. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have to go down like this real slow. Grab it there. That's pretty. Pretty neat. It always turns out this way though. When I use like a butterfly or whatever I pour on, shape seems to do this. <laughs> That's pretty, that little fluffy. That's neat. Something right here would be so cool. I think I'm gonna leave it down there. Uh, yeah. There's so many ideas you could put embellish something on there. I don't know what yet though, but I really like it that way. I think it would be awesome. Instead of smack dab in the middle. What do you think? Okay. Thank you for your opinion. <laughs> Pretty. Then we'll do the star. I'll tilt the star. Yeah, I'll leave this alone. Let that do its thing. So I'll be back. I don't think it's going to change too much because I took so long. 
but we'll wait and see. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I'm thinking a bird. Because <laughs> I had these birds there. I don't know which one, but I'll glitter him just like I did that one. <laughs> ah! There weren't one of those crane bugs. Uh, I don't know which one I'd put there. Glitter them, the violet, holographic violet glitter. That would be pretty. Or this dude. Not sure which one, probably this one. He's pretty. I think that was the same as I did the other one. Or there's a sort of like, no, not that one. Yeah, I would do this one. I think. That's neat. So I'll sprinkle just a little bit of holographic glitter just in these areas, not in the lines. Then we'll take a look at it. <laughs> so I'm using the Arteza holographic violet. It's so glittery and pretty. Just in these areas. Not too much. Whoops, that was a cross too much there. Hey, that's pretty. Uh, let's take a look. Some areas are a little chunkier than others. That's pretty. Like that one's a little chunky. Push that one down a little. Yeah, that's neat. I like it. Very pretty. Yeah, I just kind of just pushed in some of these that are just a little dark, too dark. Don't want them too dark, you know, like blotches. Only little sprinkles. You could just bury them. That's much better. Makes a difference. What do you guys think? Okay. Well, I haven't decided I'm going to take the bird. Is it focus? See how he's doing this? He's cute. So I just put a little bit of the purple paint from my pan on there and sprinkled this. Then I'll spray this with some of that rust oleum glaze you know the gloss and then wait for this to cure and then do polyacrylic on that just kind of grab him like this we'll hold it like that it oh that will look so pretty yeah kind of slanted like that that's pretty okay so he's gonna finish drying and i'll put this back away We'll do the star real quick. And the star. That was fun. Um, that was definitely pretty. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good one. Thank you for watching. Have a safe week now, okay? Catch you later. Bye-bye.